So back in high school, in year seven, there was this kid who had this mobile phone that I thought was really, really awesome. So I asked him, "Hey, what phone is that?" He replied, "Oh, this is the LG KS360." Later that day, I went to the store and purchased that exact phone, and it was my very first mobile phone. It had a 2.4-inch screen, a QWERTY keyboard, 2-megapixel camera. And 64 megabytes of storage space. And again, you may be thinking, 64 megabytes? <laughs> My iPhone has 64 gigabytes and a touchscreen interface. Yes, but keep in mind, back then Nokia phones were the most popular, and they didn't have a touchscreen. Whatever, you're just jealous of my iPhone. Any mail? That kid who told me his phone was Jack. The extroverted friend. Not only was Jack a cool, confident, and down-to-earth guy, but he also had a really strong network. He was friends with the Year Sevens, Year Eights, Year Nines, all the way up to Year Twelve. He was pretty much friends with everyone in the entire school, including the teachers. So whenever Jack is walking to class, he would be like, "Hey, Stephen, what's up, man? Adam, looking good. Alex, long time no see." Josh, mate, see you in class. Hey, Prashant, how you doing? And often people will walk up to him and be like, "Hey, Jack. Oh, hey, Nick. What's up? You're so awesome. And I was wondering if you can sign my yearbook for me. Oh, well, that depends. Do you have any money? Just kidding. So you can say Jack was a very popular kid. You would always see him with a group of people, and rarely by himself. So whenever I'm standing next to him, I often felt really famous. Now Jack and I had a lot in common. We both wore contact lenses. We both had an older brother. We both had an LG KS360 and a Nexus 7. We both played League of Legends, and we both had a pet dinosaur. JK, LOL. We both took the exact same subjects together. Which meant that we were mostly in the same classes together, and I'll never forget the moment during Year Nine history class when Jack fearlessly got up from his chair and stood up for a student after Mr. Hands, one of the most strictest teacher, had just made a racist comment. And I remember sitting there like, "No, this isn't really happening. I'm dreaming. This is a dream." And I slapped myself, only to realize it wasn't a dream. And standing next to me was Jack, a superhero who wasn't even human anymore. Jack's confidence level was so high that often he got away with doing questionable things. For example, in class, Jack would have his phone out texting someone, and the teacher would say, "Jack, how many times do I have to ask you to put the phone away?" Jack would then reply, "Phone? What phone? Miss, I don't know what you're talking about." The phone that's behind your back. I, I can see it. Then Jack would say these two magical words: "Prove it." You little smartass. Thanks, mate. So in class, Jack would usually be on his phone doing his own thing: texting, browsing the web, playing games, watching TV shows, and of course, listening to music. And this one time, he told me, "Hey, Carrot." What's a good song to listen to? And I told him a song that I really liked at the time called "It's Time" by Imagine Dragons. And not only did Jack like it, but on Thursday when Jack was hosting a radio station, he actually gave me a shout out. I remember sitting at home listening to the radio, and I hear Jack's voice saying, "Okay, folks, this next song is dedicated to my friend Carrot Sue, and it's called 'It's Time' by Imagine Dragons." Enjoy. And I was sitting there, like, wait a minute. Did he just say my name? He just said my name. He just said my name. I'm famous. No, you're not. And even though there was about 13 people listening in, it was still very cool. Sadly, as we approached the end of the year, during the final weeks of high school, just before graduation, I remember Jack walked up to me and gave me a hug. Yay! He then said to me, "Carrot, thank you for being my friend. I'm gonna miss you." 
and I never got to say thank you back. So here I go. Thank you for being my friend, Jack. You're a continuing source of inspiration. Prove it.